Really, and thank you for your time. If there are a couple of questions I wouldn't mind you just, or areas I wouldn't mind you just responding yep. to as the principal of the school. When I first arrived here uh, a couple of years ago now, I, one of the questions I, talk, I asked was what about the relationships between the different groups? Um, particularly, I focused on the Indigenous population. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was quite unaware of the extent of the Sudanese and African and, and the other, um, mm. other minorities that we do have on site. Um, and it was quite, it was made, the statement was made to me, the fact that there wasn't any ov overt or obvious tension. Um, when it comes to things like, um, you know, aggression, within the school community. I, it's one of the things that I, I look for. Mm -hmm. um, year level, background, economic background, as well as, um, so, uh, as, well as ethnic background. Yeah. Um, and I found it to be quite true, much to my surprise. Even within the indigenous groups and how there's different family groups, mm -hmm. um, there, didn't, uh, there, there was not an overt tension between the different groups that Toowoomba tends to, to gather in uh, as a meeting place. So I think, and now that I've sat back and looked at it, I think the overall, the overarching um, reason why that's the case is because this school has a very strong, and I certainly promote it, um, focus on being a hawk, mm -hmm. Harristown, students, teachers, staff members, even parents um, are known as Harristown Hawks and, mm -hmm. and I think one of the things that, that has happened is over the years um, that's been the unifying component so and even recently and I'm happy to talk about this a little bit more but even recently um, we've started to really think about the citizenship of being part of Harristown oh, yeah. and what that means. Mm. Um, so I see that very much as being the unifying factor. We at times um, have some adverse um, media sure. and for some reason the school, and, and maybe I'm sensitive about it, um, tends to get targeted and the thing that we keep coming back to is um, we're members of one community regardless of your age, regardless of your gender, regardless of your cultural background, regardless of your socio-economic background, mm -hmm. the thing that makes us who we are as a school community um, is that we're all members and we're unique because we're all members of this one group okay. and that's what we know. We've had experience obviously in a number of other uh, state uh, schools, uh, secondary and primary? Or secondary? Yeah, both. Okay, yeah. so how, how would your experience here compare to what you've experienced or know of at other schools? Um, there's not the diversity of, because of the size of the school, I mean there's over 1600 mm. students who regularly are, um, are on the roll here. Um, you get the full range at Harristown mm -hmm. um, and you get a high level of diversity within the student population and even within the staff population. Um, and that is different to some of the other schools I have been principal of. Um, when, it, when I was at Kanamala, um, there was uh, obviously the Indigenous, the white and the black issues, um, but within the, within the Indigenous, the Aboriginal population, then there were clearly different family groups which caused the tension, in which there was tension between some, which then spilt over. So I suppose Harristown has not been has been the most complex as far as diversity of background, okay. and um, to be quite honest with you, the whole concept of citizenship mm -hmm. and being a part and being a citizen of a unique um, mm -hmm. being a part of that that unique group is the thread that mm -hmm. binds us all, regardless of the background. Now that sounds very kind of out there, maybe, you know, um, aspirational, but it's real. And that's not to say that we're, we've got, every group gets on well all the time, sure. um, but that we're all individuals and within each of those groups that 
we're all individuals as well and there's good and bad and strengths and weaknesses and uh, and I think uh, there's a general acceptance within this school community of difference mm. and, of, and of diversity mm. and of tolerance mm. now um, and that's I think important. therefore um, and that that's reflected in the staff a, a, a deeper we, we tend to attract and keep mm. teachers who have um, that as a core component of their ethics. Yeah. And what would be your view for a racially harmonious school? What would it look like or how would it, what, what would you need to do to, to achieve that? I just think we need to continue on the journey we are and to, to build respect through that difference mm -hmm. by maybe, um, you know, at times highlighting, but then, you know, if you highlight the difference, then you're actually not building this, the community. So for me, it's like um, the real test is when, regardless of what the person looks like or where the person comes from or, or whatever, who's standing up and being the person up front doing the presentation or, or leading us through this experience as a school or that experience, it, it, you know, it's just, it's, it's not anything else but you peel back everything else and it's about who they are as a person right. okay. and and I think um, you know when it comes to um, you know selecting people for positions or having people initiate programs or mm -hmm. all that type of thing but uh, I'd have to say the vast majority of the time there's a real tolerance and acceptance so I think we need to keep on doing that mm -hmm. I think we keep on acknowledging the difference I think we keep on monitoring and consolidating in some of the stuff that we're doing because mm. I'm, I'm acutely aware of our rising populations in certain areas. Yeah. So I'm just not sure where that's going to lead us in the longer term. Mm -hmm. I think it's really important that all groups have the opportunity to feel proud of who they are, mm. where they come from, and every single person, no matter what their background, and this is what I've always said to the kids and to the staff, you, you need to contribute your strength to the school, mm. whatever that might be. Mm. Um, and I see evidence of that um, <coughs> by an increase in, you know, increasing participation levels and, yes. and um, you know, the, the willingness to participate in different programs. Mm. I'm not saying by any stretch of the imagination we're absolutely there. And I'm not saying that we don't have issues between different groups, but it's about how do you manage it? How do you how do you create mm. within the boundary of this school a physical location where it's what we're trying to do in the broader community? Yes. And um, and I think if that same kind of philosophy was was something which was more evident in the broader community, maybe there'd be less tensions yes. Yes. beyond the Harris Town School Gate. And I'm not saying we've got it right all the time. But I think that unifying component of citizenship um, mm. and what it means to be a citizen within the school community is, is a key component. Sounds to me like you're saying that, that you do you see the school as a site of uh, almost like that that crucible of of, so, of microcosmic social change or, or whatever that you hope then um, will infect yeah. or you know, swine flu like uh, you know, mutate beyond the school uh, school grounds. Is that is that is that a fair reading of what you're saying? I do. Um, and it's about people understanding what that means. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's about the way that I model it mm -hmm. and that we model. Mm -hmm. I always talk about the way that we need to treat others the way we want to be treated, mm -hmm. not always the way that we are treated. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, when I'm in that, a minority... Mm -hmm. um, which, which you will which, be shortly. Which I will be shortly. Yes. And, and I, I continue to enjoy those experiences. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the respect that I would like to be shown when I'm in that situation, yes. that I always try to show everybody. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't always achieve that, but 